Oh, dude. Are you a firefighter, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a firefighter. That's <laughs> awesome. Yo, what's the worst thing you've ever seen, man? What's the worst thing I've ever seen? I, I had a guy uh, covered himself in his own feces, uh, chasing after us, trying to tackle us. So we had to wrap him up, make him a poo-poo burrito, and uh, bring him down to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. <laughs> Yo, what's the worst thing you've ever seen? Man? What's the worst thing I've ever seen? Dude, two weeks ago, I had a guy waiting at a stoplight. Two semis come by, shear off both sides of his vehicle, taking his arms with it. So, I mean, of course, we show up. He's in there screaming, bleeding to death. We're just trying to control the bleeding. But, I mean, where do you put the tourniquets? He's just shoulders at this point in time. So, we're holding direct pressure, just wondering, where can his arms possibly be? Are they flopping on the side of a semi, riding down the road? So, we're loading him up in the ambulance, holding direct pressure. He's screaming and yelling that he hopes to God he can just hug his kid one more time. Time. So we get him down to the hospital, load him off into the OR, and as we're leaving, we see two state troopers walk in there with what we think were arms. I mean, we couldn't really tell. It was just so much blood. So, I mean, in the end, we're just hoping that they are at least able to attach one of the arms so we can throw or catch with this son in the future. Ooh, roast beef sliders. <laughs>